Hi, everyone. Welcome to a new episode of Crypto Tips. My name is Heidi, and this is Maria. Hi. Uh, She is our lovely lawyer here in Portugal, keeping us up to date on all the accurate information on some of the changes that happen within Portugal. Uh, One of these changes affects those of you who are interested in renewing things like your residency status or maybe applying for citizenship. Um, There is a new agency that has replaced CEF. So for those of you who have been going through this process before, you would have gone through with CEF, but now there's a new agency, new name, and new ways that they work. So Maria's going to explain. Oh, thank you. (laughs) Okay, so CEF ended last year in 2023, Mm. and IMA was created and only started working in November of 2023 as well. So for those who started the process of uh, getting a visa, either a D7, a D8, a golden visa, student visa, healthcare visa, any visa, you would uh, engage with CEF and do everything through CEF. And now people are a little scared because they say, okay, CEF is gone, what am I Mm -hmm. doing now? And the process, it's changed. Now it's changed. Since they've changed agency, the process to approach them also has changed. Okay. So uh, now AMA takes care of your appointments. For example, you apply for a D7, a D8 or any visa. And before you had to call nonstop all day, from 8 in the morning till 8 at night, right? Mm -hmm. Calling, calling, and not always you had an appointment. It was bad, really bad. (laughs) So their main focus is to end that. And they said, I was skeptical, I have to say. Uh I didn't believe, I'm like, oh, yeah. Because they said, oh, we have 3,000 people or whatever. It was a huge number. Waiting, but we are going to take care of all of them until March. And I'm like, but they did. (laughs) They are are doing really well. Okay. Okay. So I had uh, applications that I have submitted for my clients in 2021, December of 2021, for a golden visa Mm -hmm. and total silence all this time. Like still being in under analysis, not Mm. not accepted, nothing, nothing changed. IMA took place in November, but they only start really working in January. Okay. Last two weeks ago, Boom, boom. All my clients of Golden Visa receive emails saying, your appointment is this date. Your appointment. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. So they are real. Now I'm like, maybe they, they will do it. <laughs> so instead of us calling and doing the appointments, they are the ones. There's a new platform and they are the ones mm. that book these meetings. So, for example, for Golden Visa, we always had the Addy website mm-hmm. for to address the Golden Visa. Before it was Seth Addy and now it's Aima. Okay. So it's only the name that changed. And uh, we received a message saying, I'm uh, accepted your application and please choose one of these days. And they give you like a week. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. You don't have to call. Okay. For the others, you imagine you come to work and you've been waiting for three years. Like you did MI, which is Manifestação de Interés. You submit it. And you've been waiting for three years because COVID... Like it yeah, was, uh, so they didn't uh, get any appointments during COVID, and it, it's you know how many people move to Portugal every day. Mm-hmm. Therefore, <laughs> there was no appointments. We couldn't call. There was nothing. Family reunion was a disaster. Mm. We had clients waiting two years for family reunion. It was oh, a disaster. Wow. Beginning of January, appointments for family reunion. People who came to work, <clears throat> appointments for them as well. The only difference is before, like I said, you would call to Seth and book. Now there's an AIMA platform. You want family reunion, you go to the platform, you choose family reunion, you submit the documents, you submit everything. And before, when it was Seth, when you would go to the appointment, you would pay. Uh huh. Now, when you submit the documents, you receive a document to pay. Okay. So you pay immediately when you submit. Mm. I think the reason is that many people would book appointments. They would go to the agency and then they couldn't afford the fees, Uh, which are not expensive, but we are talking of working people. It's difficult. So they would pay around 50 euros. Mm. So they would spend that appointment that it could be for somebody Uh, else. And then they either wouldn't appear or they wouldn't pay. This way you submit the documents. If you pay immediately, everything is okay. Then you go to the appointment, you take the pictures, do the fingerprints and it's good. Okay. You don't have to pay then, you already did. Yeah. Okay. Um, they take care of all these visas. Before, we you had SEF inspectors at the airports, 
mm-hmm. at the borders. Mm-hmm. Now that part is for um, the police. Okay. The police took care of that. Ama takes care of this logistic of getting appointments and going through all the visas. Okay. And renewals, like you said. Mm-hmm. You have a D7 or a working visa and you need to renew it. Last year, they were trying to get this done faster and two years ago. So they did accept renewals online. Um, you would go to the CEF website and you would renew it online, which is really good. Everybody loved it. Yeah. Yeah. Not, Not like anymore. that anymore. Okay. So since we uh, have IMA, you have to go to a website called SIGA, S-I-G-A. Mm-hmm. And you have to choose, SIGA is for the uh, public notaries in Portugal. Okay. Civil. So you would book either an appointment to do your citizen card, if that's the case, as a Portuguese. Mm. But you can also renew a residence title. Okay. So now you have to go to choose in the country where you want uh, to go. Go to a notary. Okay. Not always you find appointments, but it's way easier than SEF. Yeah, yeah. You find appointments last week. You don't find this week. I guess maybe the first, I believe the first week of the month, you'll find appointments and then not the rest of the month. And then the first week of February, you'll find appointments okay. for the rest of the month. That's a good And tip. you go like that. Yeah. Because they are learning, mm. these, those who were in SEF, they were inspectors. So they move either to the police, Mm. okay? And now who's taking care of these more technical things, taking care of documents and so on, are people that are in the notary services and so on. They had to start learning the process. That's why it took a bit Mm. to for this agency change. And you know, we need to help them out and be patient. I'm sure they'll get there. But the truth is they have been doing appointments and that we can see the movement. We that work with visas all the time and immigration. We are we are really happy with this change. Yeah, yeah. It, it really went for the better. That's interesting that they're like uh, delegating things to other um, agencies. Yeah, agencies. That's really yeah, they cool. separate that way. They are not overwhelmed with yeah, everything. Yeah, yeah, true. Awesome. Um, are there any other good things that you th- or bad things that you notice about this new change? Well, bad things. There's always a bad things when there's a learning curve because yeah. the person that's taking care of your file maybe it's not specialize in that matter we have to be patient it is what it is i'm sure over time it will work better i'm very happy with these applications being uh, approved and booking appointments but Mm -hmm. there's always a little minus that i don't know how they will take care of that but the truth is i have a client from coimbra right she had an appointment in cascais it's like three hours yeah okay she went to Cascais, she got there. Oh, the system doesn't work. I know it's unfortunate. It's yeah. bad luck. I understand. Oh my God, she came from Coimbra. Yeah. No worry. And she probably sat in the waiting room for a few hours too. And yeah. And then they go. Oh, don't worry. We'll send you um, an affidavit with a new appointment. Okay. Mm-hmm. So she said, Oh, it's okay. I came for a road trip. It's okay. Off she goes to Coimbra. Next day we receive an affidavit. Oh. The next one is in Evora. You know where Evora is? Like, she's on top of the country in Queen. Oh, and Evora is down there. So maybe six hours. Oh, seven. my gosh. And this is from the new agency that's... Yes. Okay. Okay. Yes, there are appointments, but uh, it's not in your... So it's you anywhere don't... in Portugal. Okay, oh, okay, it's a small country, but let's oh, not make fun of it. They're getting people to travel over Portugal. Yes, so they get to know the country. <laughs> it's a beautiful country, but still. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> right? So that's the big thing. For example, Lydia. Uh-huh. Those who are in Lydia, there are no appointments to renew um, to renew your applications your residence titles in some locations. For example, if I want to do family reunion, maybe there's none in Lydia and I really Uh, have to travel. Okay. But to be fair, I had last year with Seth, a family of five, and this is amazing, but it came from the embassy, the the appointment. The embassy says Mm. it was Seth that booked it. We never know who was. But the D7, (laughs) they had a D7 all approved. Everything was okay. And they are a couple with three kids, right? So one goes to Bragança, the other one to Braga, <laughs> the other one to Coimbra, the other one to Figueira da Foz, and all with half an hour distance. Oh. I'm like, come on. Yeah. Okay. So there are some tweaks that they There's need to make. There are some things to be adjusted. Okay. 
<laughs> also, like, how far in advance are these appointments able to be made, like, that they're suggesting for you? Yeah, okay. So, like I said, the first week they allow us to book appointments, right? Mm -hmm. In this case, was the last week of January. We got appointments for the first week of February. Okay. So, it was really short yeah, notice. Yeah, so you have to be but ready. But because we are yeah. a law firm, we made that our primary thing to do and we get all clients ready because mm. there were a lot okay and we do these folders where they have all these documents ready you know, people don't don't know how to speak in portuguese yeah. and they are really nervous yeah. although they don't have to be nervous so we gave them a folder with everything in english and in portuguese oh, that's so nice. which sometimes i know so they get there and they say <laughs> they get there and they say you know what here <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> and the person says okay yeah and it's done yeah yeah, yeah. So I, I, I've, I've gone to stuff several yeah. times and yeah. not knowing Portuguese very well. Uh, <laughs> so I can totally relate to those people. So if I, yeah, if I was using Maria. Yeah, no, the folder and everything was done. Amazing. Now, the second appointment, because they had no system. Mm -hmm. She was there on the 2nd of February and they booked for the 27th of February, which I understand oh. because, you know, they gave appointments for the whole month. Yeah. I see. So they had to find a little spot to put her yeah. in. But Evora, come on. <laughs> like six hours. Fun. Yeah. Like making fun of people. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, I guess they'll adjust it in time. We just have to be patient. Yeah. So um, I'm going to provide links to all of these uh, websites that we mentioned in the video description. So you guys can um, have those official websites as well. Yeah, and if you have any questions regarding those websites, yeah, check out Map, or they can put it on your comments and you send this yes. to me. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> uh, we look forward to re reading your questions and concerns in our comment section, and we do take them into consideration when we do more videos with Maria. Oh, so if you haven't done so, hit subscribe. Hit like if you like our inter interviews with Maria. You would hit that like button a lot of times if you're like me because you really like having Maria <laughs> on the channel. And yeah, uh, don't miss the next video coming out about Portugal. So thank you, Maria. Thank you for having me. For your expertise. See you soon. Bye, Ciao. Guys.